I just wanted to preface, I'm recording this before knowing the election results, which might or might not make this video... I don't know. <laughs> the United States presidential election results if the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted on election day. We got Trump and Harris tied, but oh my goodness, the pyroclastic ash and debris coming out of nowhere. No one could have predicted a third party win like this. I think ash and debris has some good ideas. I don't agree with everything they do, but at least they're willing to try something new. Yeah, like blowing us up. I like the sound of that. What would you do if you woke up on November 6th and saw this? Trump zero, Harris zero, Jesus Christ 538. Well, I didn't expect that. That, but I guess Jesus here is running as a libertarian because uh, they usually choose yellow like this in the US That'd be crazy actually just make a movie about that Honestly, I'd feel way better and I'm an atheist that is a crazy gif Meanwhile the upvote is uh, that's uh, that's okay. How did that even happen like that? You wake up on November 6th and these are the results what you doing? Holy crap. This is literally 1984. It's literally 1984. This is where Ronald Reagan won in an absolute landslide Mondale got destroyed. There ain't no way there ain't no way. Let's see buy Apple stock Get a job at the NASA tech sector. Get ready to see Jordan in his prime. I mean, yeah, if you basically put me in a time machine and take me back to 1984, I'm about to be so rich. I'm gonna make so many W moves. Oh yeah, Tim Wallace, because he is from Minnesota. You wake up November 6th and this is the election results. What are your reaction? Oh my God, is this an ultra rare green party landslide? Donald Trump zero, comma zero. Shrek 538. We all are gonna start celebrating Shrek fest. I just learned that's a real event too. Wait, I'm sporting green. I'm, I'm a, I supported Shrek. Have you heard of this though before? Shrek fest? Like you can find these things happening all around the world. They've been going on since like 2018 at least. Jesus, I want to go to that. Am I late to the game? Apparently this is, yeah, I'm late. Oh, hail the king. All Star is the new national anthem. Hey now. Oh, hell yeah. These are the sins I died. <laughs> Kamala can lose all swing states and still win. So in this universe, Trump's winning Wisconsin and Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, also Georgia. Don't forget Arizona and Nevada. But you might notice one thing. There's now a much massive blue wall. So much more massive. I can't even begin to imagine. All Kamala Harris has to do is win states like Alabama and Mississippi and, well, some states that haven't voted blue in literally decades. I guess in the contrary, Trump could also do this and lose all the swing states. Other than I make this video and you guys are from the future and you know exactly what's about to happen and I'm like, I don't really know what to expect. Is this gonna age like Mel? Trump could actually lose Texas and still win. Basically, he'd have to win all of the swing states and actually, that's it. This is not that crazy. Out of all the crazy, like the other one was like not even possible. This is insane though. He just has to win literally every single swing state. And in that scenario, he could actually lose Texas and lose these 40 points. I, this is supposed to be like a dumb map video, but man, I like the electoral college system in terms of you know the numbers and the map and the, the math. I'm such a freaking nerd. God bless the electoral college. What would you do if you woke up on November 6th and saw these results? Basically, we have a completely unrealistic map, but it is fascinating because Trump would win exactly the minimum 270 yet in this scenario Kamala Harris wins the popular vote by over 75% this is absolutely possible with this system that we're using I did just mention I love the electoral college that's because I like the math the numbers all that stuff is, is, that's involved but um yeah it is very flawed I think at the same time what am I doing I'm going back to sleep and pray it was a dream probably storm the electoral college in Minecraft I can't believe I'm gonna google this but I just want to confirm I don't think there's an actual building as I'm confirm wait there's you there's no building called electoral college right no no it sounds like there I mean I don't know I, I've always I never thought there was but now I'm starting I thought that was just a meme but I'm like wait a second is there actually yeah I'm pretty sure no I'm pretty sure no <laughs> like this is the place they got to show up and actually do the votes the the electors I put Michigan in the Middle East UMFers couldn't behave <laughs> At least you brought over the up, too. You know, they always love to say they have that Upper Peninsula. And don't forget it. Getting dragged down, I guess, with them. The IDF and Hamas when faced with the unrelenting might of one singular average Detroit resident. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a punishment for Michigan or for the Middle East. Trump could lose every state and not win the election. What? That's possible? Imagine if he lost every single state and also lost the election. That's crazy. I didn't know this could actually happen. Man, the Electoral College... Stupid. Finally, an ideal map of the United States of America. Only the Eastern Standard Time states are real. I think that's Eastern Standard Time, right? Meh, I mean, it's including a little bit more than just that, but basically, I don't know why I'm bringing this up. I love this fact, though. The Eastern Time Zone is the most populous region with nearly half of the country's population. So you know what? In a way, this map is kind of real. Well, I'm not saying that I live in California. That's a mental illness, I will admit that. But it's kind of funny. Ideal America. In a way, I can see the logic. Especially considering 
you know, this is where the U.S. started, the old 13 colonies. I don't think you can be America, though, without Texas. I mean, Texas is pretty quintessential America. Personally, if you drew the line, I feel like maybe, maybe more like that. No, I think I want Colorado. Okay, maybe that. All right, this looks horrific, but you get what I'm trying to say. That I can actually see, though, to be honest. People are always looking at, what if the Confederate States never rejoined the Union? But no one ever asks, what if the West seceded? This comment with the picture of your belongings, it's clown shoes and a wig. What you doing if you woke up to this? I really should have made this video like a week ago. Literally nightmare scenario. Trump 69, Harris 69. And this is abs- Wait, 269. My, my bad. And this is absolutely possible. I really hope that we're not actually looking at this possible situation. But there's literally no reason why this won't happen. This can absolutely happen. They're all just the swing states. What happens then? There has to be... what? Okay. Oh, in the event of a tie, Congress would decide the next president. Which part, though? The House or the Senate? I guess they did that in 2000, kind of, with Bush. You wake up on November 8th and... Huh? I joked that previous post was nightmare scenario. This is actually nightmare scenario. No, just kidding. But fun fact... These are some of my favorite, like, fake maps on the internet. Imagining if the U.S. had more territory and then including our new states into the Electoral College system. So in this universe, we're including the southern provinces of Canada in the U.S. I guess Canada still exists in Yukon, so they have about 12 people in that whole country. It would then be 313 to win, not 270. Manitoba is a swing state, you think? What's funny is we're not technically adding all that much population with all these new provinces. I think it's still coming under all of California. My manifest has been destinied. I didn't know Quebec loved Jeb that much. Jeb is a mess. Can Jeb run for president again? <laughs> that was so funny. The ultimate fat United States of America. What if the burgers actually caught up with us? So you can see California, and way over here, you can kind of see Texas, and there's Florida, and all the East Coast. This is... A disgusting this feels like a meat cannon version of the United States like it's kind of horrific but also comedic what island is that did we eat Canada in this scenario too oh look at the East Coast I love how you can actually see some of the real states in there somewhere and there's Washington and then here's Idaho Montana South Dakota North Dakota is gonna be a lot harder to find because they're basically just squares okay there's the rest election night would be insane I've never been so fascinated yet so disgusted by something what you doing if you wake up and these are the election results <laughs> ah, that hurt oh my god this is crazy. Who wins? Who's next? Uh, that's basically the most accurate picture of what's happening, it seems. What if you wake up and these are the election results? I feel like this is giving us a sign. What should we do? I'm confused. Basically a Jeb victory. You wake up and see this in two days? How would you react? Okay, this is a day ago. Literally the entire US takes their revenge for Peanut and Fred. Yo, that story is crazy. I, that, that made me so mad. How is New York just allowing that? That's what I want to know. At least Harambe is watching over them. In the end, it was not women's rights, the economy, foreign aid, or the controversies over the judicial system that determined the election. It was the execution of one squirrel in cold blood that galvanized and reunited the United States. Bruh. What if you woke up and these were the election results? It's a Matt Pack victory. I hope this is not just a theory. Winning with almost a 50% vote. I don't think he should run right now, but if he waits like another like 10, 20 years when all the kids grow up. Well, I, I've watched him for a long time. I'm grown up, but he needs even more of a voter base. We need to get old. He might win. Maybe. If he just plays his cards right. You want to know the theories that would come out if he was president of the US. There's definitely some jokes I can make about this, but I don't know how uh, safe they would be. What if you wake up and these are the election results? We've turned Israel into East Carolina. I guess we just annexed Israel and made it our 51st state. We do need an East Carolina. We got North and South and you can't make Dakota. It's too far away from the Dakotas. Technically, you can sail from the Carolinas to Israel. Dakotas are landlocked. Brings a whole new meaning to 51st state solution. I like having a coastline. Or referring to modern day Poland territory or German. Sometimes it was old German East Prussia. I despise you and hope you die. Oh, these are basically um, alternative history maps, basically. Yeah, they really like to give this territory. Well, now it's Kaliningrad under Russia's control. Imaginary scenarios love to just... I don't know. Just do away with that. The Germans don't deserve coastline. All of the Germans' coast will be slavic -sized. Also, we might have just come to this major revelation. The Nono Germans were the only place on Earth that united the Briests. Briest France, and at the time, Briest, uh, Briests. Who had this? Am I even pronouncing that right? I hope that that's the way to pronounce it. There you go. Breast Belarus. So yeah, this is the only nation that might have actually got both of the breasts. Breast. Oh, I feared that. That's not okay. I was really hoping that it wasn't that pronunciation, but breast. Here we are. Well, they were too powerful. That's why they had to be taken down. Now I want to see an empire that united Dublin, Ireland, and Lublin, Poland. Oh, Napoleonic France too. I didn't think about that. Dang. Who's gonna be next to do it? Um, guys, why is today its own city in Egypt? Well, uh, we missed this post by like a month, but. 
Yeah, why is this district in Cairo, Egypt called the 6th of October City? Oh no, don't tell me there's a dark meaning, but I feel like it's gonna be dark. How long have you been waiting to post this? 364 days minimum. 6th of October residents, when there's a 7th of October City be like? Yeah, is there like a city for every day in October? Or is it just the days that fall on the 6th? It is named after the 6th of October 1973, which began the October War. What is this? They literally put a Mercator projection on a basketball. This is the most horrific thing I've ever seen as a map nerd. That projection was obviously used so you can put our globe of a world on a flat space. Like, obviously we live on this egg-shaped rock floating out into space, but in order to display an accurate flat map, you kind of need to use different projections. However, no flat map you look at is going to be actually that accurate. So why on earth would they ever do this? A basketball, which is literally what we live on. We literally live on a basketball. Why would you- why would you- Spalding, bruh. Just think about that for five seconds. Well, at least Greenland has data. My uncle works at Spalding. They did this because people in focus groups were confused why Canada was so small. I really, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to know if this is true. Globe trotters. And big thanks to my patrons. Month three in Drew's basement. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Zany Zany boy. Drew's Kirino voice. is best girl. The Mexican girl. 760. Tambri. Miglu Nord the goat. Tyrol. Luxembourg. Lucas Kansas the Canadian Christmas goose. King. Hawk, Bear Hawk, Hayes. Inquisitor. Zarius. Dude. Fresh Reed Connor Pavlik, Underwood, Carmel S, a fat normal, and amateur archaeology. 